back in the bug out moto van it's been a while but today's an exciting day because i'm going to buy a brand new motorcycle as a lot of you know the motorcycles at the top of my list are the 2019 hasberna fe 501 dual sport 2019 ktm 500 excf dual sport and last but not least the all new 2019 yamaha yz450 fx so i'll be taking delivery of one of those bikes today and taking that home with me Bug out moto. It's time to unveil the new motorcycle. What does Cycle Cruiser get? Bam! Brand spanking new 2019 Yamaha YZ450 FX. All new for 2019, baby tell you there's only two dealerships within 250 miles that actually had one in stock and I got the best deal I could possibly get I've called all the dealerships and none of them would touch this deal except for one and they happen to have the bike in stock $9,500 out the door which is the MSRP out the door so basically they paid the tax on the bike is what it comes down to but no other dealer would do that man you know it's very difficult to get a good deal on a brand spanking new bike usually get the deals on the leftover new bikes that's what I normally buy like I did with my WR 250R and also my uh, CBR 1000 RR I bought this one back in 2014 it was a two-year-old leftover new bike and I got it for eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars but this time I said you know what man I want to get the brand spanking new bike for a change and I had to because this one has the uh, ability to be able to, it has Wi-Fi on the bike where you can connect it to your smartphone and actually custom tune the bike or even download custom maps and upload the maps to the bike within seconds. Also run engine diagnostics and uh, monitor real time, you know, stuff that's going on with the bike. And also you can keep up with maintenance via your smartphone, which I think is absolutely amazing. Not only that though, it's got the brand new engine off the uh, the YZ450F for 2018. So that engine's been out a year. They worked the kinks out, so they put it on the FX model. Um, and it's got some bunch of other new stuff on here as well. Uh, dropped six pounds from last year, and it has a bigger tank, 2.2 gallon uh, fuel tank. Uh, weighs 256 pounds, the website says. I weighed it, and it was exactly 256 pounds wet. And this thing feels light, man. Thin. Look how thin. It feels like a mountain bike, man. Compared to my WR250R, it's, it's really light. And I, I flat foot it, just like my WR250R. It feels like it sits up about the same height as my WR250R, believe it or not. Uh, but man, it feels really, really good. Here, let me start it up for you so you can listen to it. But I'll tell you, you know, the reason why I went with the YZ instead of the WR450F is because I don't have to uncork this bike like the WR450F because it has all the EPA crap, you know, it's green sticker for California. So you got to spend more money, get a new pipe, they open the air box and blah, blah, blah. I don't feel like going through all that when I can, I call uh, my title bureau and I can plate this bike, no problem. So... Uh, so that's one reason. Also, I think the suspension is a little stiffer for this bike, uh, which I want for the MX track. Uh, but the FX version is basically the in-between model, in between the motocross bike and the WR uh, 450F. Uh, basically, this is you, you can use this for MX track and trails. And from, and from what I hear, it's pretty smooth on street as well. I'll cover all that in future videos. I'm going to do a build series. The reason why I chose this bike over the Husky, which it was an extremely difficult choice. I was very, very close on going to the uh, Husqvarna dealership and getting that 501, but I'm just like, you know what, man? I trust Yamaha. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? WR250R has been absolutely flawless. 
I, I beat the heck on that bike, man, and it just kept moving. No problems, man, I've had with that WR250R, so I'm very impressed with Yamaha, guys. They say the valves don't go out of spec with these bikes, so I, I'm hoping that it doesn't. But I'll tell you guys that this is a race bike. This is my first official dirt bike that I've ever owned in my life. You know, when I was a kid, my brother owned a dirt bike and we rode it, but I never owned my own dirt bike. This is a childhood dream come true, guys. And, uh, but I'll tell you, there's a lot of wrenching going on with this bike. I am not getting rid of my WR250R, man, because I'll tell you, this thing, let me show you here. It actually comes with a service manual, which is awesome, by the way, because you usually have to go online to try to get one or buy one. Look at that, nice and thick. It's got everything in there. It shows you how to do everything, all the maintenance. But man, you gotta change the oil every seven and a half hours. You gotta change the piston every 12.5 hours, I think it is. You don't have to. That's for like race, for people to race it really hard and durable. I'm not going to be beating on it that hard, so obviously I don't have to follow those, you know, that, uh, you know, service intervals like that. But I will change the oil probably every seven hours uh, just because I want to keep that oil clean, keep this bike clean, clean the oil, the air filter, you know, often. Um, I want to keep this bike running right. Um, I am going to do a build series on this, guys. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to get a set of sumo, uh, supermoto wheels, big brake kick for the front. I'm not keeping it in supermoto trim. I do want to, like I said, take it to the MX track and do trails, but also for street, I'm going to have it in supermoto trim. And my WR250R, like I said, is the dedicated urban Fukuri bike uh, that will stay in dual sport mode. So when this bike needs to be sit up here on this Harbor Freight, uh, lift table, which by the way, you can get one delivered to your door. I'll include the uh, link in the description and comment section of this video if you want to get one of these lift tables, which is absolutely amazing. But while this sap sucker is sitting here on this, this lift table, I'm going to be riding my WR250R, man. I'll be riding a, still riding the WR250R. That's not going anywhere, man. But I'll tell you, this is going to be the, like the candy bike. <laughs> When I really want to have some fun, hit some jumps at the MX track, like I said, hit the trails and and uh, do some sumo slide action. Yeah, buddy. Awesome. Another thing that's cool with this bike is it comes with a skid plate, which is awesome, and also a discard as well. So that saved me some money. And also, by the way, what's cool with this model, which... Uh, the 2016s don't have is it has the low fuel light indicator there. They don't, a lot of people don't really tell you about that, man, but I think that's good to have because on the 2000, I think in 2017 they started putting that on this bike, but 2016s didn't have it. I, I couldn't imagine not knowing when you're going to run out of gas. I think that's, that's crazy, man. Uh, just need to get some hand guards and get the dual sport kit. I'm going to get the, uh, uh, LED headlight, a uh, bunch of other stuff I'll get. I don't know. Like I said, you, I'll be doing a build series on the bike. Uh, I do want to get it to the MX track pronto. But I got to break the bike in first, man. But oh, I'm really excited, man. I'll tell you guys. For those of you guys who want to get my motorcycle gear, my camel pants, my boots, my gloves, leather jackets, all my stuff, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Gear, and those are a bunch of links to all my stuff. And for those of you who want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos, and those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1,200 plus videos categorized into those playlists. To make it easier for you to navigate through my videos, to hopefully find something that will inform you or entertain you, hey, hit thumbs up, share this video, guys. It really helps my channel when you comment, share, and hit thumbs up. I appreciate all you guys. It helps keep me motivated to do more videos. Tell me, guys, what do you think? What do you think about the new bike? Sick or what, man? Also, don't forget to subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel over at youtube.com forward slash cycle cruiser. And also like me at Facebook. Catch you guys later.